Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to discuss an interesting problem from linear algebra. This is an NBHM PYQ. Okay, so NBHM 2021 problem. This is a very nice problem. And this, this problem is very important for uh, jam aspirants also. This is a very nice problem. So the question is saying that uh, script tell be a set of all k by k real matrices such that limit n goes to infinity a power n exist as k cross k real matrix. Okay, so script L set of all k cross k real matrices such that limit n goes to infinity a power n exist. Okay, so what can I say about this? So, and the limit is defined as entry wise. So entry wise means say you define say a n, a n be a sequence of matrices, okay, say a n is given by say this, say 1 by n, 0, 0, 0, 1 by n, 0 and say, I'm just give an example 1 by n. So if you take entry wise limit, that means say a 1 on entry, this goes to 0, this a 1 to entry goes to 0, these all entries are goes to 0, so this, this limit is basically a 0 matrix. Okay, so this is the thing. So, so we are taking the limit entry wise. Okay, so script L is set of all k by k matrix matrices such that limit n goes to infinity a power n exist, and then it is defined script P set of all k by k symmetric plus positive definite matrix matrices positive definite matrices such that limit n goes to infinity a power n exist okay this is script p now we are defining a map it is given that so phi is a map from script p to r such that phi of a equal to trace of a okay so that means phi of a equal to sum of eigenvalues of a okay then we need to find the image of script p under this map phi okay fine so first observation and this is a result that any symmetric matrix is diagonalizable and here we are taking symmetric positive definite matrix right so positive definite means this will imply lambda i greater than 0 for all i belongs to 1 to up to k because it is k by k matrix. Okay. So that means if I take any element a from here, so I can write it as p d p inverse where d is diagonal matrix with positive diagonal entries because eigenvalues of a is same as diagonal entries of d and positive definite means eigenvalues of a strictly greater than 0 so diagonal entries are greater than 0 so positive positive diagonal entries fine now a power n is basically same as p d p inverse power n which is same as p d power n p inverse. Now limit n goes to infinity a power n exists. This if and only if limit n goes to infinity d power n exists. Why? Because p is a fixed matrix, right? And n is running from 1 to infinity and n is involved in a power n and d power n. P is a fixed matrix. 
so if limit n goes to infinity to the power n exists that means limit n goes to infinity p d power n p inverse that is also exists and that is same as limit n goes to infinity a power n exists vice versa if limit n goes to infinity a power n exists then d power n is same as you can write d power n as p inverse a power n p and p and p inverse both are fixed matrices so limit n goes to infinity a power n exists if and only if limit n goes to infinity d d power n exists fine so so that means this is a very important observation that limit n goes to infinity a power n exists if and only if n goes to infinity d power n exists now so and in given question script p is the collection of all symmetric definite matrices such that this limit exists that will imply limit n goes to infinity d power n also exists so if d is given by say lambda 1 with diagonal entries lambda 1 up to lambda k so these are the eigen values then d power n is given by lambda 1 power n 0 0 lambda 2 power n 0 lambda k power n and the limit is defined entry wise right that means limit n goes to infinity d power n exist that will imply if and only if limit n goes to infinity lambda i power n exist for all i belongs to 1 to k and this lambda i are positive real number so greater than 0 positive real number so limit n goes to infinity lambda i power n exist that will imply lambda i 0 less equal not less equal to because lambda i are already strictly positive i mean positive so 0 less than lambda i less equal to 1 right limit n goes to infinity lambda i power n exists that will imply 0 less equal to lambda i less equal to 1 because if for some i lambda is greater than 1 then lambda i power n this limit doesn't exist fine so then if i take trace so trace of a is summation lambda i i equal to 1 to k so this is le less equal to summation i equal to 1 to k 1 because for all i lambda i less equal to 1 so that means it is k so trace of a is less equal to and so that means zero less than trace of a less equal to k so we see this image image of script p is contained in open zero closed k right now we need to find the exact image so image is contained in here right now simply take any so take any real number a belongs to this open zero closed k since a is less equal to k 0 less than a less, less equal to k that will imply 0 less than a by k less equal to 1 now we are defining a matrix d which is given by a by k 0 0 a by k 0 Zero zero a by k. This is scalar matrix a by k identity. This is a this is a symmetric matrix itself. This is positive definite because a by k greater than zero, and this limit exists because a by k less equal to one. So that means d power n. So that means d power n is given by a by k power n zero zero zero. a by k power n right so since a less equal to k that means a by k less equal to 1 so a by k power n this limit exists 
so that means if you take any real number you can construct a symmetric positive definite matrix say d which is explicitly so phi of a by k identity is equal to trace of a by k identity which is same as a by k plus a by k this is k times this is a right so that means for any a you can always find a positive symmetric symmetric positive definite matrix such that limit n goes to infinity a power n this limit exists so that means this is on to so this phi is on to on this open zero closed k so hence phi of script p is this and that is given in the answer right this one. i hope this is clear thank you